Good morning, FS Club. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to FS Daily News. Well, today in news, we get to see, in probably my opinion, and maybe yours, the best ranch pack I have ever seen in Farming Simulator. Plus, we talk about a new licensed brand for Farming Simulator, and that testing list is still here, and there is 54 mods on that list. Remember, before we get to that news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Now, roll that intro, and let's go. Welcome back. Okay, so here we go at that first piece of news for this Tuesday. The first one we have is from Missy B Modding. She's been working on a root crop trailer right here, as you guys can see from these pictures right here. It is getting real now is what she says. Model is 100% done. UV mapping is about 20% done. The XML is 100% done and testing is 0% done. We really don't see a many like, you know, root crop trailers in the game. Be actually nice to get something like this and looks like the storage is going to be uh, we're going to have really good storage on that so that looks really good right there after that one we have some news from lr modding assembly giants 2510 h plus tank ammonia returning with the 2510 h nutrient applicator it'll make two versions one with the pneumonia applicator which in this case is the one in the photo as you guys can see and the other he will make it for high speed application with dry nutrient accessory with ammonia tank together which i'm Pretty sure we'll not probably see that on console. This probably will be a PC only mod. Anyways, the progress on this one. Modeling is 100% done. UV mapping is 100% done. Texturing is 100% done. And Udom is 100% done. Giants editor is 90% and in game it's already 50%. So it's getting close. The next, we got some news from MS modding about his Perbeck Valley. A lot of people have been actually waiting on this. Anyways, he says, hey guys, an update on Perbeck. He has seen everybody's comments regarding the dirt roads. He has made the decision to remove them as he's been talking to giants and they have said that they have too many polys. So he's removed all the dirt textures, sorry, all the dirt roads and painted them with new textures, which in a way you can get a design your own roads. Another reason he has removed them as he wants everybody to play on the map sooner. He'll be sending the map to giants actually today. And if you're on PC and you guys use the get animal grazing mod, well, guess what? The cows are now animal grazing ready. And speaking of maps, Lancy Boy has actually updated us a little bit on his next map, American Falls, which I can't wait for this one. But anyways, he says American Falls is slowly coming to a finish and shouldn't be that long. Now, this is an awesome picture right here. Also, his Facebook page is down, guys. So any news that he needs to post, he'll be actually getting a hold of me and I will be posting on the club's Facebook page or on this YouTube channel. So with all that out of the way, let's get to the next piece of news, which is from JHHG Modding. JHHG Modding has got a new licensed brand in Farming Simulator. He says, after a long wait, the moment has finally come where we can officially say that Kozjowski Upera Pazoa, I think that's how you say that, strip till equipment will be released on all platforms and will be available for Farming Simulator 22. They are pleased that they could take part in these projects together with Sin Modding and him, and would like to thank Moses, I think that's how I said it, from Sin Modding once again for the cooperation. In the next few days, together with Sin Modding, he'll be actually sending updates of the ST, PS, and STK machines regarding version changes on consoles, along with the new machines, the MOT 2022. So keep an eye out for this. This should be coming out very soon. And now onto that last piece of news for today, which is from Elk Mountain Modding. And no, it is not about his map. That I actually don't have any news on that. Just gotta be patient, guys. But this is about his ranch pack. The ranch house, garage, and gate have now all been submitted to Giants for testing. He would have submitted it a little bit sooner, but he wanted to add a wider version of the gate as an option. So this, in my opinion, is probably one of the best houses I've actually seen on Farming Simulator. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Are you guys planning on using this pack? Anyways, with that all said, let's get to that testing list for today. Okay, so here we go with the testing list, and there is 54 mods on this testing list. Like I always say, guys, remember, even if they say PC right now, just means they're in the first stage of testing. PC is first, console second, third release. Okay, let's go over some of those PC ones, which some notable ones we have on that one. We have the Fent. 400 Terrio TMS. We have wood storages. The Lizard 3500B, the Class Jaguar 695. We have two Hurlemans right there. 
We have the Lizard BV-1003, and that is about it on the PC side of testing. Now, on the console side of testing, we have the Piney Run update, uh, Deer Lands, we have the American Flathead Pack, we have, let's see, Landall 7431VT33 foot, which I believe that is from BC Bueller. We have the Midwest Production and Feed Pack update, Eastern Northern Carolina USA update, uh, the Lizard F Series 1981, the American Pack, which is from Lancy Boy, uh, Pollinger Pack, the Barn and Units, we have the Echo Leveling Pack, the TLX Fifth Wheel Winch, a uh, couple of two Taros, and the Planet PH Extension. Hopefully, we see a lot of those today when mods do release. Hopefully, mods do release. Anyways, number of mods waiting to be tested is 209. Current edge wait time is only seven work days. Well, right there was all the news and testing lists for today. Not a bad day. Only one more day to streams. Who is excited that streams are almost back again? Remember, all the links to the news and the testing list are linked in the description. Also, keep in mind that mods and maps never have released it unless it is scheduled. Don't forget to smash that like button if you did enjoy the video. Also, don't forget to hit that sub button to stay up to date with everything that's going on in Find Me Simulator and make sure that notification bell is on so you don't miss any of the videos here on the channel. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.